Have you ever told someone not to look at something, only to find they can't help but stare exactly where you pointed? That's reverse psychology in action. A fascinating glimpse into human behavior. Welcome to our deep dive into the world of influence and psychological techniques. Today, we're unlocking the secrets of how to make anyone think about you, and even how to make them crave your presence. One is reverse psychology. Reverse psychology isn't just a plot device in movies. It's a real psychological tactic where you advocate for the opposite of what you actually want. Why does this work? It plays directly into the human desire for autonomy making people naturally inclined to do the opposite of what they're told. Historically, thinkers from ancient philosophers to modern psychologists have noted how opposing human nature can paradoxically guide behaviors. It's why a child might refuse to eat their vegetables until told they can't have any. But why is it so effective? At its core, Reverse psychology taps into our deep-seated need to assert independence. When someone feels their freedom to choose is threatened, they're more likely to rebel in the opposite direction, exactly what the user of reverse psychology anticipates. Join us. As we explore more about how this intriguing psychological tactic can be used to captivate anyone's attention and keep it, Ever wondered why mysterious characters in movies are so fascinating? That's because mystery is a powerful tool in capturing and keeping someone's attention. Let's talk about how you can use the power of mystery to make people think about you. It's all about sparking curiosity. You don't need to become a secret agent. Simply being selective with what you share can intrigue others and draw them in. For instance, when talking about your weekend, maybe hint at a surprising event without giving all the details away, prompting questions and further conversation. Now, let's move on to a technique that's equally potent but often overlooked. Active listening skills. This is about making the other person feel heard and valued, which is incredibly compelling. Imagine you're discussing a problem. If you actively listen, summarize their points, and respond thoughtfully, you make them feel important. On the other hand, simply nodding while planning what to say next can make you seem disinterested. We'll show you a side by side comparison of these approaches in just a moment. Our third technique is unpredictability. Varying your behavior slightly can keep you on someone's mind as they try to figure you out. Perhaps one day you're the life of the party and another you're thoughtful and reserved. However, be careful. Too much unpredictability can seem insincere. It's about finding the right balance to maintain interest without playing games. Combining these techniques can be powerful. But remember, the key is subtlety and sincerity, ensuring that your actions always feel genuine. Now that we've sparked interest, how do we turn that fascination into something even deeper? Let's delve into creating an addictive dynamic using emotional peaks and valleys. Emotional experiences can forge incredibly strong bonds by creating memories that last. Think about planning an adventure day that mixes thrilling activities, like zip lining with calm, reflective moments at a scenic viewpoint. These highs and lows in emotional intensity can make your time together unforgettable, strengthening the emotional connection. Moving on to uh, a reciprocity and rewards, a principle deeply rooted in human psychology. When someone does something nice for us, we're wired to want to reciprocate. You can leverage this in daily interactions to deepen someone's attachment to you. For example, bring someone their favorite coffee unexpectedly can make them feel inclined to return the favor. It's about small acts that make a big impact, creating a cycle of giving that enhances the bond. Lastly, let's talk about shared secrets. Sharing a secret is a powerful way to build trust and deepen a connection. 
It tells the other person that you trust them, which typically makes them trust you more in return. However, remember to be cautious, respect privacy, and ensure the secrets shared are appropriate and not harmful. This mutual trust will not only keep you in their thoughts, but also create a lasting bond. By combining these techniques, you not only keep someone thinking about you, but also create a strong emotional dependency that's both rewarding and respectful. Having explored the theoretical aspects of reverse psychology, let's see how it applies in everyday life, from friendships to professional environments. First up, friendships. Reverse psychology can be a playful and effective way to influence friends. For instance, if you want your friend to join you for a new movie, instead of asking directly, you might say, "I suppose you're too busy to catch a movie tonight." Often, this can prompt them to make time as they don't want to seem too busy for a friend. Moving on to romantic relationships, here reverse psychology needs to be used with care and sensitivity. For example. If you want your partner to spend more time with you instead of complaining, you might say, "I love how independent we are." This might lead them to think about balance and potentially want to spend more time together. Remember, the key here is not manipulation, but fostering a healthy dialogue about needs and desires. In professional settings, reverse psychology can also be tactfully employed. Say you need a colleague to take more initiative. Instead of direct criticism, you might commend them on their reliability in their current role, which could motivate them to expand their responsibilities and prove their responsibilities and prove their capability further. However, ensure this approach is always used ethically, with the goal of positive outcomes for all involved. Reverse psychology, when used wisely. Can be a powerful tool in your interpersonal toolkit, but always consider the implications and strive for honest and constructive interactions. As we delve into the power of psychological techniques, it's crucial to address the ethical side of influence. Using these strategies, such as reverse psychology, demands responsibility. It's important to distinguish between healthy influence and unethical manipulation. Influence aims to respect and enhance relationships, whereas manipulation seeks to control or deceive, often disregarding the other person's feelings and autonomy. We urge you to use these techniques with the highest ethical standards in mind. Always consider the impact on others, striving to maintain transparency and integrity in your interactions. It's essential to respect each individual's autonomy and emotional well-being. Remember, the goal is to foster positive connections, not to take advantage of others. As we wrap up, let's quickly recap the techniques we've explored today: the power of mystery, the importance of active listening, the strategy of unpredictability, creating emotional peaks and valleys. Practicing reciprocity and rewards, and the bonding effect of shared secrets. We've seen how each can be effectively and ethically used to enhance your personal and professional relationships. Now, it's your turn to apply these insights. We encourage you to try these methods responsibly and observe their impact on your relationships. Share your experiences in the comments below. And let's continue this conversation. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.